There's nothing like crocheting at the park. Jordan actually has a soccer game right now. It's like 3.30 in the afternoon, but you know, we gotta come out here, support, represent. I did bring a skein of acrylic yarn with me. It's a little bit hard to tell what I'm making, but I'm currently trying to whip up a quick little pattern tutorial because I want to make a, hi, hi. But like I was telling you guys, I am trying to like kind of pattern test and whip up a new tutorial i want to make like a summer tank top like a very basic summer bralette i realize that this is not the yarn that i want to use for my summer top like who wants to wear 100 percent acrylic in 100 degree summer so i am going to try to make more of like a scoop neck bralette than i am like a triangle cut bralette so i am going to try to like refine the shape of the pattern and then hopefully once i find some new kind of yarn i will put together a tutorial for you guys but yeah, we're just out here watching Jordan play some soccer. This is my view. We got Jordan out there ready to play. And I'm just gonna enjoy the view. So I normally don't come to this Joann's. I'm never really in like the Chino neighborhood, but I am today because of Jordan's game. So I wanted to stop by a different Joann's location and see what they have in stock that might be different from what I have back at home. But y'all check this out. Look at this huge yarn wall. Crazy. I think most of that is like Red Heart Super Saver, so I'm gonna stay away from that. This is really cool. I've never seen this before, but this is the brand Big Twist that I love so much. This is their Cuddle Yarn. This is 100% polyester. It's kind of like a chenille yarn. It's like baby blanket type of fiber, but they've got a ton of different shades. I didn't know that they had that. Hello my lovelies. As you can tell, I am already back home. I hit the gym, I showered, I blow dried my hair. And can you guys see how long my hair is already? I feel like I already need to schedule like another haircut. I ordered a little crochet stitch book because I don't know if you guys know this, but I actually don't really own any crochet books, which is kind of crazy considering I have been crocheting for well, almost like about two decades. I've been talking about it for so long here on my channel. I've been wanting to put out like new cardigan tutorials, just new like everyday wear. And I'm kind of sick and tired of using the same old double crochet. So I wanted to like get some knowledge on some new stitches I could implement in future tutorials. So this is the book that I got for about $10 off of eBay. It's the complete book of crochet stitches but hopefully i can kind of give this a gander find something that's like not too complicated and start putting it into some of my tutorials so as you guys can see there's some really gorgeous stitches they're not super basic like this one's kind of crazy but i'm hoping i can find something a little bit more intricate maybe like this or this and kind of put it into a cardigan or a tank top or a t-shirt oh my gosh see even just like a stitch like this it doesn't look super complicated, but there's so much like definition. I'm gonna go ahead and set this to the side because I actually have a few yarn orders that I need to pack up and ship out today. I've got my shipping label printed and now I'm gonna go ahead and package up two 
of these really gorgeous hubba bubba these are actually worsted weight and this is my 100 pure wool in case you guys were curious i do still have a limited stock of pure wool available over on my website so because this is pure wool and not super wash or merino this is currently marked at 20 dollars a skein instead of 30 so thankfully miss sarah ordered two of my hubba bubba so i'm gonna go ahead package these up for her in my front yard i wanted to take a moment and quickly show you guys the new like chrome hooks that i've been working on if you guys have seen my latest vlog i showed you guys some new chrome colors that i picked up to make for the hooks so this is like the green and yellow blue set they're like a really really gorgeous green like the sun is not even doing it justice. One of the latest sets. Oh my gosh, just look at that. Really, really gorgeous. I love the set. Probably one of my new favorites. I figured while I'm here, I might as well do another little unboxing with you guys. I have two really fun packages I've been dying to open up and I wanted to save it. So the first package that I have is actually sent over from a subscriber. This is from Nilka. She messaged me and told me that she wanted to make me something special. So I'm going to open this one up first, but I also have this massive box of bear yarns. You guys know I've been talking about ordering new bear yarns to hand dye with. All right. Let's see what Nilka sent over. She even left a little handwritten note. That's so sweet. But the first little thing that she sent over is this super cute bandana. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this is for Mowgli. There's a cute like little tie front. So I'm actually gonna pull him over here right now and have him try this on. Mowgli, come here. Look what Nilka made you. Oh my gosh, you're so handsome. All right, I don't want to tie it too tight, but look at him. Look at him. What a good boy. He's so fashionable. Are you a good boy? <laughs> He's really just sitting here modeling for me. That is so sweet. Come here. Come here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's just sitting down. He's like, I like it. We're good to go. <gasps> Say thank you, Nilka. Thank you. All right, and now the final package I have been dying and waiting to open up. So she sent over this super gorgeous top. Oh my gosh, I actually have to like tie this up and everything. <gasps> Look, there's even like little loops in the back for me to actually like string it up and tie her up. This is so exciting. So I know it looks a little bit crazy, but I believe this is the back side of the top and then it's going to like crisscross somehow in the front. So I do have these super long tie straps so that I can actually like lace her up. So I'm going to throw this on here in a couple hours, but I just wanted to show you guys look at the sweet thing. Oh my gosh, I have been dying to open this up. This is the mohair yarn that I have been waiting for. Oh my gosh, I know this is gonna be like the yarn of my dreams. Oh my God. This feels so, so good. But this is a gorgeous hank of mohair yarn. I'm gonna have to show you guys in the sun because this is not doing it justice, but this feels so, so silky smooth. But here is a quick little finger swatch. Again, this is gonna be a lace weight yarn, but can y'all just see all of that? Look at that fluff in the light. I also just got my other order of new pigments so I can actually start hand dyeing some more earthy tone natural colors. And I feel like I really want to hand dye some of this mohair with like just all tonal one color and then pair it with a yarn that has a little bit more speckling, like a little bit more variegation. So this is gonna be so much fun. Oh, this is gonna be so fun. This is the fingering weight 100% superwash merino yarn. This is going to be a three ply yarn and you're actually gonna get 500 yards in one hank. So in case you guys are wondering why my yarn is priced the way it is, you're getting a crazy amount of yardage 
with each paint, which is kind of unlike any other supplier that I've come across. We got the orders going out today. There she is, looking mighty fine. to wrap up the end of this vlog by showing you guys my latest new colorway and this is what I've come up with. I'm probably gonna have to show you guys in like real natural sunlight because my room is a little bit dark but this is my latest colorway. I don't have a name for her yet so if you guys have some really fun suggestions let me know down below. But here she is. I did dye this on 100% super wash merino wool yarn. And I'm so excited because I finally ventured into using some fingering weight yarn. So I'll give you guys a quick little close up. Now the base of this shade is of course this really gorgeous like creamy color, but I did use some like deeper, almost like fawny brown bone shade brown shades and I also have a little bit of like a champagne yellow in there a little bit of like this speckling so I've got like some sage green in there and like a deeper chestnut brown just kind of speckled and layered throughout that way whenever I'm knitting with this or crocheting with this you do get a more everyday useful neutral type of base with like little tiny pops of like brighter color so here she is i love this i've been wanting to use more neutral earth tone shades for a long time but this is what the new colorway looks like once i put it in its hank and i'm dying over this i'm so so proud of myself i love just the neutrality of it. I love that I'll be able to make like a summertime dress with this. I could make crochet shorts, which I do intend to do with my two other hanks. I've had a few mystery yarn orders over on my website. So this is what the mystery shade is going to be. Again, I don't really have a name for her, but if you guys have something like funky or fun, I am blown away. I just took some time to throw on. This is the top that little Miss Nilka made for me. Again, this is the top. I'm gonna tag the designer. But this actually looks so, so flattering. It looks so much better on than it does when you're just like holding the item. Nilka, I am so like flattered and touched that you would make something for me and it looks so, so good on. Again, I'm not sure if I tied this upright, but the back is just so like, sexy hello and then we've got this like little front section which is actually like very much accentuating so so good thank you so much for taking the time 
to hand make something for me. It's not every day that I have subscribers like sending me handmade items and this means so, so much to me. Thank you so much, Nilka, and thank you everybody for tuning in to this week's studio vlog. I'm coming at you hard in the next few weeks, y'all. I got a lot of designs planned. I have a lot of yarn planned. We've got new hooks planned. It's a lot. I have a lot going on right now in my life. So yeah, we're just gonna stay creative, stay busy, and I'll see you all very soon. Love you guys so much. Bye.